Is food coloring really bad for you? In the 1850s, chemists figured out they could make food dyes from chemicals like coal tar and petroleum. They were cheaper to make than natural dyes made from herbs or plants. But then people started getting sick. Some of the dyes contained bad chemicals like arsenic, lead, and mercury. Because of that, laws were passed to regulate what could be put in foods. Since the 1960s, there have been nine artificial food dyes approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Three of them have been found to have a possible connection to cancer, and the FDA has only recently started the process of getting them removed from foods. The FDA also recently announced it will move to take out all artificial dyes from foods in the U.S. Although, so far, the process is only voluntary for food makers. Artificial food dyes have also been linked to attention deficit problems and kids' ability to stay focused. Learn more about why we color our foods and the science behind food dyes in the new podcast, Science Stuff.